Microphones are one of the most frequently used devices out there. You use them when you speak to someone through your phone, or when you record the audio for a YouTube video like I am doing right now. But how do they actually work? Well, to understand that, we first need to take a look at what a microphone actually does. It converts the sound of your voice into electricity. Now, there are two different types of microphones that both use a different way of converting sound to electricity. We're going to take a look at both of these microphones. The first type is the condenser microphone, and the second type is the dynamic microphone. So let's get started. The first type of microphone we're going to talk about is the dynamic microphone. The dynamic microphone is the typical stage microphone. Now, how does it work? Inside the microphone, the first thing we see is the diaphragm. It's a thin sheet of plastic, it's really nothing more than that. Connected to the diaphragm, there is a coil of copper wire, and inside the coil we've got a magnet. Now, when you speak into the microphone, the sound waves of your voice will hit the diaphragm, so the diaphragm is going to vibrate at the frequency of your voice. Then. The coil is also going to vibrate because it's connected to the diaphragm, which means that a coil is now vibrating close to a magnet. And when a coil moves close to a magnet, electricity is generated inside the coil. Now the frequency at which the electricity is generated is equal to the frequency at which the coil vibrates, which is equal to the frequency of your voice. And that is how the dynamic microphone converts sound to electricity. Now. There are some disadvantages and advantages of this microphone, starting off with the advantages. Number one, it does not need any power supply because it generates its own power. When you speak into this microphone, the coil moves and generates its own electricity. Advantage number two, this microphone is not very sensitive, so very loud sounds won't damage it and it won't distort. That's also the reason why it's always used on stage, because people directly singing into a microphone can be a really loud sound. But of course, this microphone also has some very bad disadvantages. First disadvantage, it doesn't pick up very quiet sounds or sounds that are generated very far away from the microphone. That is because the coil needs to move and generate electricity, so if the sound is not loud enough to generate that power, the mic simply doesn't pick it up. It doesn't work. Next, this microphone doesn't pick up very high frequency sounds very well because high frequency sounds don't have that punch to move the coil so high frequency sounds will sound quiet and poor on this microphone Moving on, we've got the condenser mic. The condenser mic is the microphone usually found in recording studios, but also the microphone found in mobile phones. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that the quality of the microphone in your mobile phone is equal to that of a studio microphone. So how does this work? Well, these are the components of the microphone. First of all, we got two plates very close to each other. One of them is the base plate, which is a fixed solid metal plate. And next to it, we've got very, very close to it, we've got the diaphragm. Just like the diaphragm in the dynamic mic. But this one is very thin and very fragile, even more fragile than the diaphragm in the dynamic mic. And this one's made of gold or another very well conductive material. Now, those two plates are connected to a circuit. Now, let's talk about what's going to happen when you speak into this microphone. Well, you speak into the microphone, the sound waves are then going to hit the diaphragm, which is going to vibrate. Now, some of you may have noticed that those two plates have air in between them, and two metal plates with a, an isolating material or air in between them is effectively a capacitor. And that's also the reason why this is called a condenser mic, because condenser is an old word for capacitor. 
Now, a capacitor is basically a device that uses two metal plates with an isolating material in between to actually store electrical energy in between the plates inside the isolating material. But when you speak into this microphone, the diaphragm to one of the plates is constantly vibrating. So the distance between the plates is constantly changing. And when the distance constantly changes, the thickness of the isolating material, in this case the air between the plates, changes all the time. And when the thickness changes, the amount of electrical energy that can be stored in it also changes all the time. And when that changes, the voltage in the circuit also changes. So the voltage in the circuit that the plates are connected to. Now, the frequency at which this voltage changes will be equal to the frequency of the sound waves of your voice. And that's how this microphone works. So your voice doesn't have to generate the electricity like in the dynamic mic because the charge is already there. Your voice only changes the voltage in this system, making it a very sensitive microphone. And I guess that brings us to the advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are that it's a very sensitive mic and it can pick up very quiet sounds or sounds that are produced very far away from a microphone. The second advantage is that it picks up high frequencies with no problems. High frequency pickup is a problem on dynamic mics but condenser microphones can pick high frequency sounds with ease. Now there are some disadvantages as well. First of all, its sensitivity. Really loud sounds can distort or even damage this microphone because the plates can vibrate, so the, the diaphragm can vibrate so fast that it can actually touch the base plate, ruining your microphone. The second disadvantage is that this microphone needs a power supply. It needs some kind of power to keep the circuit working because, again, your voice doesn't generate the electricity in this microphone. The electricity is already there. Your voice only changes the voltage. So those were both types of microphones that are out there. I hope you liked the explanation and if you didn't like it then let me know in the comments how to improve it because I like feedback. And anyway, thanks for watching.